Yo, what's up guys, John Boogle here, and we're finally making a video on this damn chin collab. Now, this collab wasn't that big or exciting because there's very few things, but it was a collab nonetheless, so I thought I had to make a video, but there was barely any content to cover on. And here we go, of course, the new unit, the Shackle Cat. I don't know if that's how you pronounce it, but it is the Chin Cat. Chin boy, you finally got him, and I don't know if he's good or not, but we'll probably find out soon. Bruh, look at this dude. <laughs> Wait till you see the. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> and let's finally hop into the actual collab event, and this is the only collab event that's out, and the only event stage for the collab. That's why I said it's very difficult to make a video on just one collab event. But we're gonna do the three star version so it's a lot better to make a video on and though, even though it is three star the first few levels still are very big jokes or should I say big chins and I know a lot of you guys probably have started school by now so let me know how that's going in the comments and I'm probably gonna start working part time this month so it's gonna be rough uploading too now these attacks of the enemies always reminds me of the Big Sal and his attack where his mouth opens to like 10 feet. I'm sure this collab is just preparing us for a huge event coming soon because with December coming around in New Year's there's probably going to be a huge event coming. Maybe Best of the Best will be back again. And the stage names are pretty funny too. Lots of Battle Cat stage names are really for entertainment purposes, they do give a laugh sometimes, especially for the spring monthly events. Those ones are top tier in terms of stage names. And look at these big chins. And I heard these collab units are actually capsule toys in Japan. And I could picture that perfectly. Just imagine having a shelf full of chins. And these units are slowly getting a lot more health every stage so by the end it's probably going to be very difficult to take down these units these big chins because of their immense amount of health and immense amount of chain power and wow they're beginning to push through very easily now so it is going to get a little bit difficult in the final stage let me guys know what you think of this collab I think it was extremely underwhelming due to the amount of content there was, but what can you say, it's September, they're preparing all the good stuff for the next few months, so it better be good. And how is this big chin panda boy still even alive? Finally he goes down. He had a lot of health, and these tigers are annoying too because they lower attack. Well, I could already tell how annoying the last stage is going to be. The power of the, the chins. chins. Oh, let's see how long that took. Oh, wow, that was actually pretty fast. Hey, these stages do give quite a good amount of XP too. Oh, I think this is the stage with the big head boy. The big head chin. Oh, snap. I really should have brought anti-floating units. But let's hope it doesn't take too too long because I don't know this thing's health on 3 star. And <laughs> the gories with chins look so weird. Let's see if a crazy whale can take out the gory. That will be a good measurement of how difficult these gories actually are. I have no idea what Ponos was thinking about this collab. And <laughs> applying it to the enemy units is just... Chin. And at least I did bring a modder suit because this chin boy is gonna have a lot of health and a modder suit will help with that. And how is his chin not touching the ground when he does his attack? If his chin did touch the ground when he does his attack, would he be a non-floating enemy during that time period? You never know. I mean all we could really do is drag and stack our way out of this because he's going to have a lot of health and I can tell. And he's taking a lot of hits from that level 30 Amadrusu. And that's pretty surprising. Oh, you know what these chins remind me of? 
It reminds me of that Rohan meme on JoJo. The, <laughs> the Gaga Kotoro meme. Is that a JoJo reference? A hey, reference aside, we finally got a knockback. One knockback, I don't know how many there are. I mean, I would use Bahamut, but by the time he gets up here, misses his attack, the head will probably be dead. Unintentional brutal bars coming at you. Come on, he has to be close to dying. He's taken so many hits. Look at how many dragons we got stacked up now. And I'm obviously getting those hits in. Okay, finally, he goes down. Chin power is actually real. And that had to have been a low score. Okay, not that bad. I mean, it, it did seem like an eternity taking down that one head. And here we go, the final stage in this event. The future, future is, is chins. chins. <laughs> Comment the future is chins down below to get a giveaway entry. Let's see how annoying the future of chins is gonna be. Oh, and on the topic of the 5k giveaway, the official end date for entries is gonna be September 22nd. So, at that time, I'm gonna stop taking all entries for the 5k giveaway. So, make sure you get involved before September 22nd. And from the 22nd to October, I'm gonna be gathering all the results and we're gonna be doing the live stream of picking the winners. And it's gonna take a while getting all the results because I'm gonna have to go through all the 5k giveaway videos and all the comments and every single entry people got. So it's going to take quite a while gathering the results, but when I do eventually get all the results, we will do a live stream of the winners. Oh my. And the head is out again. This guy refuses to go down. He refuses. You know, like, refuses. No? Maybe I used that joke one too many times in this video. And since these units are very slow, Bahamut is the way to go for this one and I brought crazy UFO because they do stack up and get pretty annoying I mean the power of chins is immense so you, you can't joke about the power of chins I can only imagine all the memes of this collab and speaking of memes I was on the Battlecat subreddit a few days ago to check it out and I don't know I'm not that active on reddit so I go there every once in a while to just look at stuff but I was surprised to see that there are no Jizzo memes on the subreddit to be found. It's probably gonna be filled with chin memes because you already know Battlecats is always right. The future is chins. Wow, we are getting pushed back very far in this fight and they are just slowly pushing through and our bomb it just went down. Yikes. I don't imagine that chin head is gonna have too much health since these pandas are here and they have already a decent amount of health but let's just hope they don't get too close to the base but when in doubt perish stack it out and that's probably gonna work here yes it is look at all those hits on the head and we got a madrasu up yeah it's a gg now it's over or what it da as jiren the gray would say Maybe it isn't over too soon because that head took a lot of hits and it didn't get knocked back yet, so it probably has a large amount of health again. I do think there is a rare cat reward for this stage, but let's see if we can actually get it in time because... Oh snap, he got knocked back. For a second there I thought he actually went down, but he just got knocked back. The lion and tiger combo is also very annoying, but Amadrasu is able to sweep them up very easily. I wonder if these enemies aren't counted as normal enemies, but counted as chin enemies. So Amadrasu does 3 times the damage against chin enemies too. We're gonna need triple damage for those triple chins. And here we go with this again. It's the chin boy alone and him taking a thousand hits and not dying. How many dragons do we actually have stacked up? I can't even see because the modder who's in the way. Is that two? I think we only have two stacked up. What happened to the rest? Come on, he has to go down by now. I mean, that chin is eating up so many modder who attacks. Finally, he goes down. Now, let's see how long we actually took. And let's see if we can actually get the rare ticket. 
And here we go, are we gonna get it? 2000, it's not that bad, and there we go, we got the rare ticket. Might as well open these capsules for the video. Just for the video, let's see if we can get an Uber from the capsule. And almost got our Macho Legs at 40 there. And let's see if we can get an Uber. I mean, the first Uber we got on this account was Windy. And we get... Okay. <laughs> that was it guys for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy. Drop a like if you did. Subscribe if you do. Join the hashtag Boogle Gang. And yeah, it's been John Boogle. And the future is chins.